How's it going everyone? Candle Sega here, welcome back to another episode of Collector's Own Hall. The date is the 4th of August, <laughs> I finally remember the day. And uh, yeah, this video might be a little delayed, I was supposed to record it last night, something came up and then today I was not going to do it, but I thought, nah, I want to do it because I'm excited to show you all what I, you know, what I bought at my comic shop and uh, yeah, let's get to it. Oh, I've got to say, so the video might be out on the 6th. Alrighty, first up, continuing on with Harley Quinn, we've got issue 47, pretty sick cover. Looks alright. Yeah, I still haven't caught up yet. I've been reading other issues, but every now and again, like, if I have an early night, I'll lay in bed and just read a comic. And continuing on with Batman Beyond with issue 22. Looks like appearance of Scarecrow. That's going to be pretty cool. The all-new Scarecrow Strikes. And again, continuing on, the Punisher issue 228. Looks like Iron Man's a bit pissed off with him. I'm not too sure, I haven't caught up. I Like uh, Harley Quinn, I'm a few issues in, but I'm slowly working up to it. Oh, and I just saw the new trailer, it looks fucking awesome. Issue 4 of Venom, oh, I can't wait for the movie. And we've got issue 2 of Cosmic Ghost Rider. Uh, I haven't got to this one yet, I'm slowly working my way up to it. But um, yeah, the cover looks pretty cool. And I, just, it, I feel like it's like an 80s sort of sci-fi sort of setting, so yeah, hopefully it's good. And one of my current favourite series at the moment, Hack Slash Resurrection with Vampirella. It's really good. I really recommend it. So I'm so glad they're keeping up with the, you know, the story because normally Vampirella gets a bit of a, you know, sort of a short issue, you know, series. But uh, oh, mind you, her current one's going pretty well. I'm I don't think the recent issues come out for me yet. So yeah, excited to read that. Alrighty, some new additions to my collection. I am positive I've got this issue, or something of the kind. Uh, celebrating 20 years, uh, Fathom issue 1. I am positive I've read a issue of this comic because it was something like she was angry because the oceans were being tainted with oil and stuff and she fought back but it looks really good so I thought I'd pick it up. And this one jumped out because I thought it was Evil Dead but I don't think it is. I think it's just a coincidence that he looks like him. Uh, one in four issue limited series, uh, Eden. The cover really jumped out, so I thought I'll give it a read, see how we go, and I'll get the other issues. Uh, just, yeah, I just, I'm really, I'm a sucker of, you know, a cover. You know, if it looks really good, I hope the story's good and I'll get it. But yeah, fingers crossed. And last but not least, there was only one issue left. I had no idea that they were going to release a comic. We've got StarCraft Scavengers. As you know, I'm in the process of playing the original StarCraft. Uh, you know, the StarCraft, not episode three. And... Yeah, this I picked this one up, and it's Dark Horse Comics, you know. They do Aliens and Predator and all those cool comics. So hopefully it's really good. And we got some goodies today. Yay! Uh, I haven't done my other two yet, but I picked up two more of them. Uh, those, like, Japanese, you know, lolly kits where you make it yourself and all that stuff. And I bought these two because... I don't want it to just be a... I don't want to set up my camera and all that just to do two of them because... Because I've done a few of them, I'm pretty savvy with it, so it's quick. And I don't want to just do two of them and then end the night. So I thought, I'll load them up and I'll eventually get to the video of trying them. Uh, I've got some figures today. Unfortunately, it's not the awesome, super things I'm paying for. I'm still paying that off. I think next fortnight, I'll probably have it completely paid off. Can't wait to do a video on that one. But uh, I'm really happy. They've got some... Gears of War figures, they're miniature ones, but they are really well designed, and I'm a bit of a, a fan of, you know, the little sort of figurines, and especially when they put a lot of details in. I've got a shelf dedicated to small ones instead of, you know, my main one up there, but Gears of War, I'm a really big fan of the series, and yeah, just one of my, f I mean, I had, I've been collecting figures, but it was probably my first proper set, I, you know, I was... I think Gears will come out in 2005 or 6. It's the first game we played on Xbox 360. We didn't have the console, but our uncle did. Played it, played it non-stop all night, completed it. And I seen the figures and I started collecting them. So it was good to, you know, see the originals come back in sort of figures. And unfortunately, it's only season, it's season 2, so I missed out on season, uh, season series 1. But I'll see if I can find them. But uh, anyway, enough, to, enough talking. So we've got, um, oh, I forgot his name. Cole. August Augustus. Hang on, let's get rid of the sticker. I should know these guys by heart. 
Augustus Cole, the, uh, the good old football player. So I just remember we were supposed to go to school the next day, but you know we couldn't stop playing Gears of War all night, so Dad, you know, give us a day off. It's 12 years ago, you can't ping me now, teachers. I'm so much beyond because I bought the Gears of War 3 collector's edition, but I'm sure you could get the Lance, like the, you know, this gun right here. And I didn't think to get it at the time. And there we go. There's Cole. It's not bad. I quite like him. I might try and get the whole series. I tell you, that's one video I need to, you know, do. I did my Resident Evil collection, me and Luke. I should do my Gears of War collection because I've got. Yeah, anyway, the whole series. Unfortunately, I didn't get series three. You know, for Gears of War three, and I'm missing, I think, Carmine from a set. I've still got to find him. If I can find the figures, I, I don't really want to do it now. I might do it on my holiday coming up next month. It's just because it's in my closet and I'm, I'm Tetris. Everything's, you know, nicely aligned. So it take me a whole day just to get them out. But it should be a fun video. I'll try and do it. But uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, next up, we got. Dominic, I, I almost cried. Gears of War three when, you know, he died. Spoiler alert! You haven't played it. <laughs> oh, it really hurt. You know, it was like, oh no. <laughs> I mean, Gears of War two, you felt so horrible because of his wife, and you didn't think he was going to pull through, and he did. But then to have that hero sort of send off, I was like, no. <laughs> Not Dominic. And I think that's why I love the series so much is they're not afraid to say a hero has to die. I mean, it's... I don't really like a game when all the heroes live. I mean, if it can really strike you hard in the heart, it's a good game. Walking Dead. You know, perfect example. That still fucking hurts. I'll miss you. I just noticed, yeah, this is a Gears of War 3 set. Yeah, because they all started not wearing the shoulder, like the arm guards, and Dominic's got a beard. I wonder what Series 1 is. Maybe it's their first appearance. Tell you what, good attention to detail. I like the fact, oh shit, fell off, uh, that they're sticking with their signature weapons. I think Dominic always favoured the double barrel shotgun, which is cool. Yeah. Awesome. See, I've got so many game favourite game characters, but I think Marcus Phoenix has to be right up there as one of my all-time favourites. The whole crew of Gears of War I absolutely love. I need to buy an Xbox One so I can play, you know, the uh, Gears of War 4, and I think Gears of War 5's coming out, isn't it? Good cat. Now, brace yourself, it's quite scary. <laughs> You got Marcus Phoenix, but his eyes look so menacing. <laughs> and he's got the, I think it's the, what did they, how did they pronounce it? The prototype version of the Lancer, where it's got the spear. Oh, it's so much fun in Gears of War 3, you know, just running up to the enemy, he's going, mm -mm, oh, stab right into him. So, yep, yeah, that's Marcus Phoenix. And that's an end to this video. I hope you all enjoyed. I had a pretty good haul today. Uh, a few comics, a few knickknacks, and some other things. Uh, next video is probably going to be a big one where I finally get the figures that I've been sort of hiding and keeping in secret. There's, I think there's six figures in the set and it totaled up to $220 or $280, $280. So, yeah, I've just been slowly chipping away at paying it off, which is really good at uh, Collector's Own. They, they give you, you know, the choice if you can buy it now or you can just pay it off, you know, over time, which is awesome. Uh, anyway, I won't keep you saying any longer. I hope you all enjoyed. I'll see you all later.